Hi, and welcome to Avocet Math. In this video, I'd like to say a few more words about the addition principle of counting. Now, in the AMC, we often find that the set we're trying to count is just too complicated to count in a single pass. So sometimes we have to look for opportunities to divide or partition a set into smaller, more manageable groups or subsets that are easier to count. Now, in the example from the previous video, we had the case of a classroom of children and we want to count the number of children C in our classroom. And one obvious strategy is to divide our set classroom into two subsets of boys and girls, count the number of boys and the number of girls separately, and we quickly find that the number of children is given by the number of boys plus the number of girls. Now, this is one of the simpler examples where the two subsets are fairly obvious and non-overlapping. And generally speaking, non-overlapping subsets are generally preferred when trying to divide a set into smaller pieces for the purpose of making the counting task simpler. So let's take a look at an example where the division into subsets is uh, less obvious. So let's consider the case of a car dealership. And in this case, we want to count the number of cars on our car lot. We could, as before, try to divide our car lot into two non-overlapping subsets. And there are a couple of choices that we could uh, try. One such choice is to divide our car lot into two subsets of, say, two-door cars and four-door cars. Another possibility is to divide our car lot into automatic transmission and manual transmission cars. Another possibility is to divide our car lot into multiple subsets based on color. So we could perhaps divide our cars into subsets of, say, red cars, blue cars, gray cars, and so on. Now we have a problem when we try to divide our cars into colors because some people disagree about this color of a specific car. And some car models actually consist of two colors. For instance, some cars have a body in the color of blue and a top in the color of gray. So there's an opportunity for these colors to overlap in the way that we divide these colors, uh, these uh, cars into the subsets of colors. Now, one way to get around that is to choose a, a different set of criteria for dividing our cars. One such criteria is to divide the cars into make or model. So we could perhaps divide our car lot into makes of, say, Ford, Honda, Kia, and other makers. Now, this avoids the problem that we had with the overlapping colors because cars are either Ford or Honda or Kia they can never be a combination of two manufacturers. Now, this few examples now gives you some idea as to how we can use the principle of dividing a set into suitable subsets for the purpose of making the counting task easier. And uh, this principle is uh, discussed a little bit in more detail in some of the coming videos for AMC 10 underscore 1, 4, and 6. So check that out if you want to look into this further. Now I'd like to go back to the case where we had the, the blue and the gray cars and we had the possibility of cars that were both blue and gray. So let's discuss this case a little further. So let's consider the possibility of a car lot consisting only of blue cars and gray cars. So we have a subset of blue cars, we have a subset of gray cars, and taken together the blue and the gray cars comprise all the cars in our car lot. We'll denote the total number of cars as C. Now we'd like to represent the total number of cars in terms of the blue and the gray cars, and it's tempting to write the number of cars as simply the number of blue cars plus the number of gray cars. But we notice that this formula has a problem, and that we have to take special attention for the cars that are in the intersection region where the cars are both blue and gray. Because these particular cars 
are counted as blue cars in the B term, and they're also counted as gray cars in the G term. So in effect, this intersection region is counted twice. Now we often represent this intersection region with the symbols blue, intersect, gray. And what we notice from this sum formula is that when we sum blue plus the gray cars, in effect, we are double counting the number of cars which fall in the intersected region of blue and gray. And what we'd really like to do is just count the intersection region once. And now this gives us a very clear insight now as to how we can correct our sum formula. We merely have to take the delta between what we actually counted and what we want to count and use that delta to correct our initial formula for the number of cars. So we see that our count is off only by the difference between two times the intersected region minus one times the intersected region. So in effect, our count is greater by too much by the amount of one times the intersected region. So we merely have to subtract out the delta in order to correct our formula. And the correction is to subtract one times the intersected region of blue and gray. Now, this is a very powerful principle here where we can recognize that a formula is off and that it is double counting some portion of our set. And in recognizing the double count, we can find a correction factor for our original formula. We find that uh, this is one of the most important counting principles and one that is further explored in the YouTube videos that are part of the playlist AOPS Introduction to Counting. And again, that's a uh, YouTube playlist. And the videos that uh, go into the subject matter of Venn diagrams and counting overlapping subsets are uh, videos numbers three through five, I believe. Now, it's also important to realize that the AMC almost never asks you to compute uh, these formulas in some straightforward way as shown. Instead, what they want you to do is understand and recognize when a sum of terms is over counting some portion of a set, how to quantify the amount of the overcount and how to correct for it. And that's really what this whole Venn diagram is all about. And once you develop that level of understanding, you won't need to remember any of these formulas and you'll better handle the set of counting problems posed in the AMC. So good luck with that and I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.